What's up, YouTube? It's Donny D all day. Be careful of the plant. Babe. I'm shooting the video right now. Oh. <laughs> okay, you can stop that. Go ahead, take a few whacks. What do you think? Huh? How does it feel on your hands? Fine. Fine? Okay, let's let your sister try now. Okay, so I hit the same spot where he was? Anywhere you want, kiddo. I guess I'll hit right here. Okay, hold on. Try it like this. What you do is you go sideways, ah. then down. Because you're removing material. Like this? Yeah. And then down? Yes! Okay, <laughs> let's let's get her so we can do another test. What'd you think? That's a nice knife. You think old D-Bad did a good job? Yeah. What about you, bud? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll move to another little test right now. Okay, take your time, bud. You're doing good. Be careful and take your time. Here. Let me see. There. Remember, hold down on the handle. There you go. Now do it again. But take your time, just like I said. This way? Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, watch your leg. Oh, see? What you're going to have to do, bud, is get it. Yeah, get that back up there. Hold it. And put it back on there like that, but hit right there over the sticks to get it started, okay? Okay. And take your time too, but it's not a race. There you go. It's a little bit bigger than your little more, ain't it? That's why you got to take your time to learn how to do it. Tricky. Tricky-like. Good job, big fella. Now we let your sister try, okay? Yeah. It's a bit harder to 
Well, put it on the ground, okay, for now. Then when you're finishing it, you can put it back on the board. It'll tip less if, less if it's on the ground. Hit it like you mean it. Wow, this knife is big. But it works good, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Not a race, just like I told you, brother. You take your time. Make sure you do it right. I got it into the ground. Well, good job. <sighs> Remember, the cut worm forgives the plow. <laughs> now do I do it up here? Yes. Remember, take your time, kiddo. You gotta keep, make sure everything's straight. You don't want to be hit, hit. Well, see, I, part of the problem is on bottom, it's it's not cut straight because that's where we chopped it. And I use a chainsaw to cut the other end. It's so harder to use because I never use this big of a knife. Well, just taking taking the time to get used to it. Almost got it done. Well, at this point, you could probably pull that right apart with your Hulk strength. There you go, see? Now, go ahead and do it again. On this one or this one? What, hey, this, this is America. You pick whatever one you want to chop. I think I'll do this one because it looks easier. Don't, hey, you're, you're starting to get a little bit too fast. Take your time and set everything down right. Well, somebody don't like to be told what to do. Okay. Now get your last one. If you guys get good enough, a dad won't ever have to do another piece of firewood in his whole life. Okay. There you go. Take your time now. Look at that. Window bar. Good job, Aubrey. What do you think of that knife? That's a, I know it's a really big knife. A really big knife? And it's super cool. How does it feel in your hand when you're doing all that chopping? Good, I guess. Good, you guess. I think it feels real good. Okay, next thing. Nice. Great for feathering. Okay.
Nice. Okay. Let's see how that spine works. Ooh. work. Hey, I get through real quick. Break bone, no problem. <laughs> nice. Ratchet strap. Two layers, four layers, yeah, treat me like it's nothing. Give up on that end piece. I think around the camp. Camp Master is a great name for this. <coughs> I mean, for being as big and thick as it is, to handle mushrooms, they're very delicate. Pretty darn good. This is going to be the final thoughts portion on the D Bad Camp Master. I'm going to hit you with a few of the particulars. I'll get that out too. Now, says the blade size is 6 inches, handle size is 5.5, and I was also looking at the website here where there's tons of add-ons you could do with this. It's crazy how many things they'll let you do. You got an option for a stand for it, Kydex sheath, western leather sheath, Nepal flag patch, decoration tip for sheath. Classic sheath, pouch, EDC knife, Nepal postcards, Kukri key ring, uh, decoration band for sheath, and dual frog. Okay. Tons of stuff. It's crazy. The actual weight, I guess this is grammed, I don't know, 385. Shipping weight, 850. Blade sharpness, standard, very sharp. And I agree with that. I don't know if Donnie did anything to it, but that thing's sharp. Okay. It's from KHHI, KHHI, Kathmandu, Nepal. Uh, handle finish is unpolished. I believe that's rosewood, and it is. It's... Gorgeous. Just beautiful. Uh, edge grinding says dual. Blade panel grinding slope. Let's see what else we got. Overall weight grams, I guess. 475. 
blade finish semi polished blade material is 5160 steel blade thickness is seven millimeters well you can't tell right here but seven millimeters uh, sheath black leather normal which I don't know what the story on that sheath is but it is beautiful one of the best sheaths I've ever seen on a knife it fits this thing so good they got that little contour right there to fit the handle tang type is flat okay I'm looking at this stuff as I go along edge hardness is 55 to 57 HRC now I'm gonna go into the my thoughts on it portion I love this thing uh, I couldn't find anything I don't like about this thing the only thing I didn't like so much was the spine on it but it's sharpened it's just not sharpened enough uh, I was able to strike the ferro rod with it but it took a few tries kids liked it uh, all I could really say is I don't know what they're putting in the water on the East Coast, but Bonnie keeps coming out with these knives here that are crazy. You could survive in the wilderness with this knife. 100% guarantee. Sorry guys, the camera shut off. I'm just going to sum this up with saying, if you guys want one of the stoutest fixed blades ever you'll ever hold you have to go check D-Bad's designs out it just it's just uh, it's amazing the quality the strength I'm at a loss for words really uh, beautiful thank you Donnie it's been an honor testing out the Camp Master much love to everybody Hit like and subscribe if you haven't, and have a wonderful day. Bye.